Hello, and welcome. My name is Angelo Calvo, and I am a systems engineer at Citrix. And today we're going to be going through a demo of Citrix Workspace. More specifically, the virtual apps and desktop service, as well as the secure workspace access. So let's go ahead and begin. First thing that we should talk about is user access. So how are they going to get to the workspace? First thing to mention is with Citrix, you can access from any device, right? whether it's a corporate owned device that you issue out or a BYOD device. It can be a thin client, it can be a Chromebook, it can be a laptop or a full blown desktop. It really does not matter as long as they have internet access or can access the workspace. So there's really two forms of access here. Um, the first is via a browser. And then the second is the traditional way through the workspace application. Now, if you can't, for whatever reason, install the Workspace application on the end user's device, you can always access it via the browser with the company-specific URL. What your users will do is they'll type in a username and password. This is backed with Active Directory. These are AD credentials, in fact. And then click Login. Now, there is an option to have MFA set up in place. It's in the forms of a one-time password, and it comes free with all of cloud services. So if you'd like to see that, just out to me or anybody else on my team, I can write that for you. For today's purposes and for my demo environment, simplicity really, I do not have the MFA set up. So the users, after they type in that username and password, they're going to click log in here and then they're going to be presented with the workspace user interface. Now one thing to keep in mind, um, I'm using a very heavy OBS software to make this recording, so things are running a little bit slower on my computer. So your users would not be experiencing this, assuming that they're not running uh, the OBS software that I have. But right away, you'll see that the users are presented with their applications. Now one cool thing that we can do via Secure Workspace Access is publish not only those published applications, but as well as bring in any SaaS application. So SaaS application is an application that's not running in your data center, it's provided as a service. You can bring that all in-house into the same user interface so that your users can access all the applications that they need to be productive. One other thing that we can do is provide single sign-on for all applications. Personally, and in prior jobs, I, I knew how annoying it was to have multiple passwords. I even had some colleagues that would write passwords down on sticky notes and stick it to their desk um, because they just had so many. One cool thing with the workspace is that single sign-on is provided across the board for all of your applications. So the only thing that your users are going to have to memorize is that AD credential, that initial password that we signed in, right? And then once they get to their applications, you can click on any applications and it will launch seamlessly. So let's go ahead and show that here. Right away, you'll see that it's not going to prompt me for a second factor of authentication. It's not going to pass prompt me for a uh, Salesforce password at all. That's because of the SAML assertion that's being done via the microservice in Citrix Cloud. And it's going to log me in accordingly. Here we go, here's Salesforce. This is a SaaS application that I'm accessing. One thing that you're gonna notice here is this watermark. So via secure workspace access, there are different security policies that we can layer on top of SaaS applications. One is a watermark. This is obviously there to deter users from taking pictures with their phone and potentially leaking any information that might be sensitive to the company. We would not want that to get out. Now you can also restrict users from taking screenshots, you can restrict printing, you can restrict USB drives, all on a per application basis. So if you have some SaaS applications that aren't hosting any sensitive information and you don't mind having users uh, have access to clipboards or be able to screenshot things, that's, that's perfectly fine. You can leave those um, turned off. But if you do have some sensitive applications and you want to you know, enable some of those security functionalities, Perfect. Um, that can all be done by the admin, and you can cater it towards your company's need. All right, jumping back here, we're going to show one last thing, and that is the desktop feature. 
So I have a lot of customers that are working off of thin clients um, or really any device, and they don't like seeing this user interface. They like seeing a traditional Windows 10, right? And that's one thing that you can do. You can have a shared desktop, provide it for all your end users, or even if you had virtual apps and desktops service, you could have a full-blown dedicated BDI. Now, in most cases, it's just a host of shared desktop. They get that look and feel of a Windows 10, um, and they can work out of it accordingly. Like I said, a lot of users, they just like that. Honestly, that's usually what I do when I come into the workspace. I just launch that Windows 10, I work out of it the rest of the day, and then I go from there. But if your users are only utilizing a couple applications, you can customize their user interface and just provide those applications. So let's say your user just utilizes Outlook and maybe one or two other applications. It's not a problem. You can present those applications that the users need to be productive and not all these other applications. That can all be set up within Citrix Cloud. It takes about five minutes. So really cool there as far as the customization goes for the user interface. Now let's go ahead and look at that Windows 10. Once again, you'll see that I'm not going to be prompted for a second factor of authentication. When I click on the uh, desktop there, it appears here. Um, this user can work out of the desktop the rest of the day. They have all those applications loaded on that server and really they can go from there. So I hope this was informative. I hope this gave you a better understanding of what the workspace can do for you and your company and how secure workspace access plays on presenting other SaaS applications and securing the environment as a whole. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me or any sales counterparts um, that you might have contact with. I appreciate your time and I hope you have a good day.